During our time in Palestine, we had the privilege to meet several women's groups, f f groups facilitated by Lucy Talji. These groups have learned about their rights, learned uh, about the UN Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, or the Security Council's Resolution on Women, Peace and Security, for example. They've not only learned, but they've put what they've learned into action in community building, in building peace, in mutual support. So in one community, we learned how they canvassed for improvements to the garbage disposal. And now they were working on getting a nurse into the school because the clinic is too far away. We learned about their social enterprises, embroidery, baskets, beekeeping, and we had a wonderful dinner in Jericho at a restaurant that these women had started up and were running. But in their own words, they are choking under occupation. Their movement is severely limited by checkpoints. There are settlements all around and many have no choice but to work there, part of an illegal economy. Their children or their partners are in military detention without charges. We've already mentioned about the problems with water, limited access to water. Many children have emigrated looking for a better life than that under occupation. So we say no to annexation, but even more, we must say, end the occupation. We can support these groups of resilient women and they can support us. They are certainly an inspiration. In my denomination and probably in yours, the women's groups are the groups that move forward matters of social justice. During this time of COVID-19, we have discovered new ways of linking up. This webinar is an example of that. We talked the other day about connecting Canadian groups with Palestinian groups for mutual support, for exchanging our ideas, for learning from each other, how we can all advance equality, equality between Israeli and Palestinian, between settlers and indigenous peoples, between black, white, and people of color. The one quote that we all picked up on from Yosef Daher of the Jerusalem Interchurch Council of the World Council of Churches sticks with us all, equality is the precondition for justice and peace will be the fruit.